Hello everyone, welcome back to competitive multiplayer Stardew Valley with me and Poxiel. The challenge to see who can earn the most amount of money in 100 days of Stardew Valley. We're on first of fall already, literally the halfway point near enough. And yeah, this is, I think it's episode 12 if I'm up to date. And straight away, we have got lots of jelly and some aged super cucumber row. Incredible. We'll get even more of this on the go. I've got one more row. Lots of strawberries. I might even put the blueberries in here as well, just to use up. We'll get a bit of blueberry jelly on the go. The wine, I'm going to use all the melons that we've got. The pomegranates, which are in the greenhouse now. The ancient fruit, of course. And when we get into... Well, <laughs> when we get into fall, I keep forgetting. We're in fall right now. I'm going to go ahead and get some pumpkins. Oh, moonlight. Look at this. We got this from the last episode. The moonlight jelly banner. I'm going to put that there. Looks awesome. But yeah, it's sad, sad times. Look at this. Summer has ended, and now I've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to prepare the soil. I'm even going to expand, guys. I think we're going to expand a little bit further. Make it bigger for more crops. Although we don't have much space, do we? Not with all my kegs there, the fish ponds. Oh, this is not good, is it? This is not good. One thing I can do is I can move this fish pond over to that side. And if I get rid of um, this little log here... Clear up some farm. I might be able to have the other one tucked away in this corner nicely. So it might give me a little bit more space. I can even go like this far, but then it's going to be in the way of the path a little bit. But you know what? It's a tactic. If Pox wants to cut through, <laughs> he now has to go right around. Hey, <laughs> yes, let's go. I could block him off completely, but I'm not that savage, all right? And we can still get to the bottom of this one too. All right, yeah, guys, it's going to be pumpkin time. It's going to be crazy. I'm still. I'm going to have to do a little bit of watering here, but it's all good. We've got plenty of um, energy, plenty of money to get lots of seeds as well. I will get cranberries too, but they are going to go in the greenhouse. Just so we can have them all year round. I have mentioned that already, but yeah, I want pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice is very profitable. Very good way of making money, guys. So we need to expand this as big as possible. And I'm actually going to go ahead and buy more sprinklers today as well. No time to waste. No time to waste. I want so many of these. Sadly, all the soil got destroyed overnight. That's what happens when you go into a new season. So now it's left me with a lot of work. The first is going to be a very, very, very frantic day today. It's just the way it is. I'm pretty sure Pox is going to go down the same route. He's probably going to go with pumpkins as well as cranberries. I think... It's one of the smart things to do. I would not be surprised at all. So yeah, we've got a lot to do guys, a lot to do. So I'm gonna get four more sprinklers. I'm probably gonna get eight because I'm gonna go a little bit more to this side as well. This is how, how crazy I'm gonna do it guys. We're gonna go big, you know? Go big or go home. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy day and we're gonna have a lot of pumpkins. And yeah, he's got pumpkins too. I knew it, I called it, I called it. Okay, I don't even know how much we can buy here. Probably, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just going to buy as much as I can. I'm going to probably go with like 200. Where are these? Should we go with 200 if I can afford them? Oh, that's so much. In fact, the first thing we should do is spend the money on the sprinklers, right? Let's go ahead and get... Oh, eight's going to be very expensive. Caroline, move! We ain't got time for this. Uh, one, two, three, four... So I can get 200. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to go with 250 right now. I don't know if that's way too much. I need to go back and see. We've not got enough time to come back and buy more. So if I've overbought, I'll put some in the greenhouse. Or even expand even further. But if we need more, I'll go get cranberries. It's fine. Even if we have to go tomorrow. I had to prepare all the soil. So we've got a lot of seeds here. 250. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if it's going to be good. We're, yeah, we're going to have so much spare, I think. But, you know, like I said, guys, go big or go home. We've got to literally go big at this point. Because not only can we make pumpkin juice from the base qualities, all the silver and gold that we get, if we do, can be used to, to just sell directly, you know? Which is great profit anyway. But I did want to expand. It was something that... Oh, hold on. We might just have enough. There's no way I literally got that right. Oh my god, I was very close. Oh, 
Oh, guys, look, it was one, two, three, four, five off. Are you kidding? But guess what? We got some mixed seeds. That was such a good guess there. Oh, that's incredible. 250 pumpkins. And hold on. Look, we actually even got pumpkins out of these two. Oh, wowzers. I love this. This is what you call expanding. But guys, we've got the rest of the day to water. This is only going to be a one-time thing. And then obviously, once I've done this once, we'll never have to water again. I've still got to go to the greenhouse too. And there's a little bit of watering to do in there. Probably a harvest of strawberries. I can't even remember. Oh yeah, we need a scarecrow. I've got to get a scarecrow over on this side or we will lose some pumpkins. So once I've watered these, we're going to go ahead and do that. I cannot forget to get the scarecrow, guys. Looks like we've just got enough time. We might be okay here. Uh, the wine's still brewing away. That's good. Don't have to mess around. We've just done all the jelly this morning, so that's another job done. It looks like one of the fish are asking for something. Is that the diamond? One of the sturgeons? I think it is. That's so frustrating, guys, because there's no way we're going to get a diamond again. Oh, this watering's killing me. It's real. Maybe we should have upgraded the water can at least. I could have upgraded it instantly with the money that we've got. Still 6.50 p.m. No rush, no rush. I'm still going strong, guys. Lots of crops in the ground here. I don't even want to go and look at Pox. I bet he's got so many. But it's not over. I think I'm going to go with some cranberries too. Like I said, we've got to fill out that greenhouse. And that's going to be a tomorrow job. There's some space in the greenhouse. They're going to be filled with cranberries. This is frantic. Wow, what a busy day. It's always so stressful on the first day of each season, right? Although we've got winter approaching, which is not good. Because we're just going to be living off of the greenhouse. And just basically preserving things and making wine with all the fruit that we've gathered throughout the year. All the vegetables. So that's why I wanted as much pumpkins as possible so we can get through the whole of winter. Well, it's near enough the old winter. I know a lot of you guys have been messaging in the comments saying, can you just play for the whole year rather than just 100 days? The only thing is, obviously, Pox's video is going to be a 100 day video. Kind of like his style. He prefers to do just a big 100 day video. I would be happy to... Oh my god, you can use the fish pond to fill up the can. That's incredible. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to go through to the end of winter. Maybe I can try and sort something out there with Pox and we can agree on something. Maybe to extend it a little bit. I I'm not sure. I'll have to have a little word, but we'll see what we can do. Or we can just do the 100 days, get to 100 day, you know, find out who the winner is. And then if you guys really want to see maybe like a part two and we'll take it to 200 days, which is basically another full year, right? So, yeah. We'll have to see. That was incredible. Have we got any oak resin today? No. No oak resin. It's going to be done tomorrow. Oh yeah, he's got all these melon wines on the go. We did have the strawberries, guys. Oh my god, this is so late in the day. I can't even see if I'm going to miss any. I can't see the water in. But we've got to gather these so they can produce again in three days. Or oh, is it four, sorry? There's so much darker on my screen than it is probably you guys. Looks like three pomegranates are done today. I've got to harvest them. And then we need to get that scarecrow. Can I do all this in time? Oh my god. I've left it so late. Literally to the end of it. I might even have to pass out on this one. Just to get it done. But I think that's the watering done. Let's gather these three pomegranates. Nice. That's going to be used for the wine. Okay, I think we're done in there. And now it's time to craft the scarecrow. I hope and pray I've got enough resources to do this. Because I was using them all... for other things, so let's see. Guys, I've not got enough fiber. Oh, this is this this is real, real bad. Oh no, look at this. All of them on that right side. Even the ones on the left there. Oh no 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 no. I've got to hope and pray I wake up in the morning. And we are basically fine. Quickly, I want to get the pomegranate in the keg before I pass out, just so this can... Oh, no. Did we do it? No, it was the one in the middle. I passed out. That was such a long day. Alright, we've got one oak resin here. That's one more keg. Hey, the blueberries. Always going to be getting these throughout the year. So let's go. It's Tuesday. Pierre, luckily, is still open. I need some more sprinklers and more cranberries. So, this strawberry's got to go. Sorry. This blueberry's got to go. Sorry. And just that one. 
I think that's only 19 cranberries. It's not a lot at all, but I guess it's going to be better than nothing. At least we'll get some cranberries, right? Could I get more for outside? Have we got space? I've got some mixed seeds that I want to get down outside, though. And then, guys, we'll never have to water the greenhouse again through the whole fall and winter. I know that it's not very efficient because the, water, the sprinkler is only watering, like, half of the crops that it could be. But it saves me having to come in here and water at all. I'm going to save a lot of energy, a lot of stamina, a lot of time as well. So let's go to Pierre's. Let's get some cranberries. Sell all this stuff that we've got on us as well. And then I need to gather some fiber to get a scarecrow. Look at all the wormies. There's so many. Another lost book. This uh, basically... Ooh, a warp tome to the mountains. Let's go. I think we've got all the library. <laughs> Pox doesn't get the worms, so... Oh, this... Mm, interesting. The help request is done. How many sprinklers was it, guys? Oh, my God. I don't know how much it was. So the one that I want is the community cleanup from Linus. Because I'll get the fiber seeds, guys. And I should be able to get a lot of fiber for the tea saplings. Which is basically needed quite a lot. If we want to make even more money. So before I go back and plant these in the greenhouse. That's the only thing I've got to do back on the farm. I'm going to have a little forage around. And just see if I can find any full forage so I can make the full wild seeds. Now I love fishing in fall. Especially when it's raining. I've got my favourite spot, my favourite place. And we are now in my favourite season as well. So if we get a rainy day. I'm going to be spending all day fishing because it's a good way to make money. I love it. We can, If we fish in the river, we can get catfish. We can get tiger trout. We can get pike. Salmon. It's just really good, guys. It's a good way of making money. Right, so yeah, all them looking good. Let's go in here. Let's get these cranberries down. I think we needed more sprinklers, but I just didn't want to get too many. Yeah, we did. We needed way more. So I need three. Okay. I just literally, I com before I left, I completely, I completely forgot to count <laughs> the sprinklers. I was too busy counting the space for the cranberries. Now, I know I've overbought, but I was thinking maybe we can get some outside as well, if I can go and get a bit of space. Plus the mixed seeds too. So, can we extend this any further? Can I take it all the way to the end? I think we can. Yeah, just. Oh, that's perfect, guys. And this is going to be cranberries, I think. Or should we go more pumpkins? I don't even know. No, we have got mixed seeds, though. Right, we've got to get a scarecrow. I need fiber. Oh, fiber. Hold on. I've... Oh, let's use this to go to the mountains. Warp totem. Nice. If I just go onto my special floor in the mines and just get a, a little bit of fiber, I can get that scarecrow. It's very, very needed. I can't afford to lose any of these. There are a lot of money, these pumpkins. Damn it, I forgot to go onto the wrong one. No, it's fine. We've got some here. This is what we want. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We spent all the fiber in the last episode, obviously, on the tea sapling. So let's just do this quickly. This is my favorite one. Yes, this does never let me down, guys. It never lets me down. I found the best floor for fiber. It'd be even better if we had the fiber recipe and I could grow them. Ho, ho, ho. Now this is rammed with a purple mushroom too. I love this floor, guys. It's my favorite one. If anyone ever asks me, what's your favorite floor in Stardew Valley? 81. Why? You don't need to know why. Just know that it's my favorite. That's all you need to know. Just thought I'd take all this gold by me as well. Good XP. And of course, we can smelt this for the gold bars and sell them. I'll go and do one more loop. And then we're going home. We've got 32. It's plenty for a scarecrow. It's only 20 or 25, right? Yeah. Easy. Bone fragments. I think Poxy will check the community center. The special request board as well. He was down there. I'm wondering if he's going for a specific one. And which one will it be? He's not really been gathering forage or doing the seeds though. So I can't imagine him going for the Linus one. So I do wonder if there's one on there that's going to be worth doing. If it comes up. And I completely forgot about all the recipes that you can get. I don't know. I know there's a lot on there. 
But is anything going to benefit us? Right, this is what we need. Hazelnuts. They could be a little bugger to try and get. And the wild plums. Oh, I still didn't even plant these guys, did I? Come on, come on. It's time. Time is essence. Oh, there's no space for it. I need to get another chest. Right. Fiber, wood, coal, scarecrow. Should we get two? This one is going to go here. It's going to keep... It needs to go there, really. And the pumpkin's there. No! I need another chest, guys. This is going to be for all my fall seeds. I've actually got enough ore to make three bars. How amazing is that? Sell the purple mushroom. Oh my god, all the wine's done. I need pomegranates and melons. Oh my god, this is all done as well. Ay ay ay! It's so busy! Right, more on the go. I can make another keg as well, but I don't think I've got enough time now. Keg. I'm gonna pass out again, but I don't care. There we go. Oh, I think we just made it. <laughs> that was crazy. Every single day at the moment is like full on. I didn't even water the crops on the uh, on the farm. I just didn't have enough time. I literally didn't have enough time. It is absolutely crazy, guys, how much I've got to do every single day. And the time is the problem at the moment. But And the majority of that was watering. So if I don't have to water anymore, we're in a better place. We are in a better place. Now, obviously, I've got to water all these. It's so annoying, but it's fine. If I get the mixies that we've got already, we've got to use them, right? Because they just sat there in the chest, and that's money to be made. So, let me get them in the ground. And we've got a mixture of seeds, too, so it's all good. We've still got 13. I'm going all out with these, right? Right, I need three pumpkins, which I'm going to go get, and um, one, two, three, four, five, six sprinklers, but it's closed today. Oh, you're annoying, Pierre. I hate you so much. No one likes you. I guess if I can find some... Mix uh, wild seeds today. I'm gonna go back up to the mines. I think and gather more fiber, more gold, and hunt for the lava eel because I did want to get. Hold on, diamond, diamond. We've got to find two diamonds. <laughs> oh no! Whose idea was it to go with sturgeons? I'm gonna get rid of one, guys. I think if we get a lava eel, if I'm lucky, I'm gonna replace a sturgeon with a lava eel. I know they like. Ask for gold and things like that. Maybe it's a bit easier to get there. We've got gold bars, as you can see. Oh, time. Time is unbelievable. It's not on my side right now. Right, this summer forage has got to go. It's taking up space. And we've got no grapes, so we can't make any more. So I'm just going to sell, 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 sell. Got a letter. Marnie, whatever. Look at all the quests that I'm not doing. <laughs> that can go away. I'm going to take this. Uh, axe can go away. Sea foam pudding to eat. Um, I've got no food. Oh, please don't go to the goddamn mines, Pox. I need to go down there. I need to find diamonds. I've got to find fiber. Oh, he's going for wood. was crazy. Poor Pox. <laughs> he was chopping down a tree and as I was coming through, my magnet radius, by the way, I've got two rings on, so I couldn't even help it. All the <laughs> all the wood came straight to me. Oh, wow. All the energy that he wasted. <laughs> I feel bad. But it's competitive. I will right, go for the lava eel afterwards. I'm going to just spend a little bit of time gathering fiber, of course, which we need eventually. Getting this gold ore as well. I think we'll make a bit of money from the gold bars. 
We're never going to get to level 10 mining to make the, the bar sell for more money. I don't think that's going to happen. But this is extra income, right? A gold bar is quite valuable, if I'm right. Not as good as Iridium, obviously, but it's decent money. I don't think Pox is in the mines, which is good. Gives me the opportunity to do this. Such a good floor. And there's the mixed seeds that I need as well. Another thing that I wanted to get. We've got enough space for like three. So we can just fill them out. And there's a chance to get pumpkins, which is really good. I'm going to do one more little check in there. And I'm going to hunt for the lava eel with the seafoam pudding. <sighs> I hate catching this fish, guys. It is rough. It is a rough fish to catch. I just need one. That's all I need. Let's try a look. Let's go for it. We've got this for only 3 minutes and 30. Oh, I'm not going to catch this in time. I don't think I'm going to catch this at all. I'll only do it whilst I've got this active. So we've got 3 minutes to try and find it. If I don't find it in that time, I'm going to quit, leave it, and go back and get the, uh, the fiber. So we'll see what happens. Three minutes on the clock. It's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. Come on. One minute and fifty. Still nothing. I don't think it's gonna happen. This was a waste of a seafoam pudding. If so, it cost me five k that. I was really hoping I was gonna get this fish. No, it's nowhere to be seen, man. Oh my god. Look how big the bar is, guys. This is why I wanted to do it. Let's go! We got the lava eel. Job is done. The fishing bar helped. We had 30 seconds, 38 seconds left on the clock. I'll keep using it just in case another one pops up so we can sell it or whatever. But guys, we got the lava eel. That's what I came for. I'm going to replace this one of the sturgeons with this. And lava eel, aged row, is really good stuff. 20 seconds. Can I get another? This, oh, it really helped. It was worth getting the seafoam pudding now. Did you see how big the bar was? Oh, it was amazing. 10 seconds. This is going to be the last fish. Can we get one? Nope. It's done. But guys, we got what we came for. We cannot complain at all. Oh my god. Oh, we got a diamond. We got a diamond. Oh, this is a great day. The, the one sturgeon that we've got can now repopulate. Oh my god. This is incredible. A lava eel and a diamond? Come on. This is why I come down here, guys. And look, it's a bad luck day. Never believe it. Ignore the bad luck days. Every day is a good luck day, okay? Wowzers. That was such a great find. Can I get another one? Got him. <gasps> Guys, it, it teased me. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. <laughs> the game was going to do me like that. It's just an aquamarine. Still a very, very good thing. It's a bit of extra money. We're taking full advantage. I don't know if this is going to be worth it, if it's going to really do anything. But we need these fibers and mix seeds anyway. This is making money because I can get tea saplings. I'm not going to stay here till like midnight. I'm probably just going to have one more loop, check it again, and then we'll call it because I've got to get the fish pond in and maybe get some things preserving overnight. We've got to give the sturgeon his new shiny diamond, which I'm hoping he's very excited about because that's a lot of money. Let's go then. That's enough. How much fiber do I get? 72? Come on. That's not bad. That's a few more tea saplings right there. This is my chest, and I'm taking it with me. I did put that there. That is mine. Go back and watch, like, episode 3, 4, something like that. More storage, you know. More storage. I need to get sprinklers tomorrow. Dampier will close today. Very annoying. Right, guys. What we're going to do is... You can have that diamond. 
They're happy. I'm going to fish out this sturgeon to sell. And now nothing's... Oh no, it's going to repopulate. So I want an empty pond. Okay. Lava eel. Throw in there. There we go. And that can now populate up to three. Really, really exciting. That's still not even at five yet. Did I check the greenhouse today? Nope. Obviously not. Of course I didn't. And we've not got the watering can. Oh my, why is it always me? I'm all over the place, guys. I can't keep up with the amount of stuff that I've got. Maybe I shouldn't keep going to the mines all the time, but it's going to be handy in the long run. Are they all watered? I think so. I'll pass out in the greenhouse if I can just get them watered in time. I pass out every single night now, because I've just got that much stuff to do. I, I literally can't keep up, guys. I cannot keep up. I'm not even going to be able to water all these. So they're going to be all out of sync. They're going to be a day behind. But once we get the sprinklers, not going to be a problem. There's even strawberries that I've missed. Look at that. That is craziness. I've got to do the greenhouse first thing in the morning. It's just too much to do at night. Not making much money. That's, we're not really selling much at the moment. Only little things, you know, in passing. But all the production is not being sold and it's still producing, so... As you can see. So, I've also got a Super Cucumber Row. I'm going to get this on first. More strawberry jelly. Making so much of this stuff. We've made a lot of profit from these strawbs. Right, nice fast day today. No messing about. Let's get this done. So look, we've got some mixed seeds here. Obviously, I've got to water these just for today. And then after that, we'll be fine. I don't even need to buy seeds anymore. I just need sprinklers. No oak resins done. That's another thing that I wanted to do. Is quickly craft some tree tappers. Wood and copper. I think we need more wood. But I believe this is an oak tree. Yeah, let's get that on there. It's just going to help a little bit. We need more kegs. Because I think Pox is just outdoing me on the kegs right now. He's got so much. And, you know, when he starts making all that wine, if he's getting loads more than me, it's going to be hard for me to catch up. No matter how much different ways I make money, the wine's always the best. So, it's a thing that we've got to think about. Pumpkins are looking incredible. But look, there we go. We've got all this ready for today. Which is really good. It's nice to see. I'm going to go and buy some wood from Robin today, but I don't know if she's going to be open today. I hope she is. We've still got some oak trees that we can get down. I can make four kegs today. But guys, look at this. All them preserved jars, all them kegs. And then if we go inside here, he's got even more... Oh no, he's moved them. He's just moved them. Okay. He's, he's took them out of the greenhouse now. They're all together. He's got a lot of production going on. We have, we are, we have as well. You know, we're not doing too bad. We have got stuff. We are producing things. We just need to do it on a bigger scale. So I think it's time to make maybe more preserve jars, more kegs, just anything. So let's go and buy as much wood as possible. So let's see, preserve jars too. So wood, stone, and coal. I'm gonna buy some today. We've got a lot of money. I'm gonna waste all my money on resources. Just so we can make even more in return. Spend money to make money. The rule of thumb. In life. In any game. It's the way it goes. If you want to make money, guys, you got to spend it first. So wood. Wood, 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 wood. Let's go get it. And sprinklers too. I'll sell all this stuff straight to Pierre as well. Let's not forget the hazelnuts and all the forage. We will need them for the tea saplings. I wish you could buy oak resin. But then that'll be too easy, right? Hail you stink! Right, bought some sprinklers now. And now we're going to go and take a trip up to Robin. And get tons of wood and tons of stone. I might even need to go to Clint's tomorrow. Oh, we've got rain tomorrow. Nice. Even though it doesn't matter anymore. But yeah, I might need to go and buy coal. I might need to get some coal. I think I'm going to get 
a stack of 999. I know you're probably thinking, what the hell are you doing, Sharky? That is so much. Yeah, you might be right. And 500 stone too, are you crazy? Yeah, probably. But don't worry. I see it for the long run. We've still got 55k to our name, guys. And I don't know what to spend it on, other than more resources. It saves me going to mine and farm for them. Chopping down trees, ain't got time for that. I'm barely just getting through the days as it is. I'm only just getting by with what we've got. So, right, so uh, I've messed up this layout here. Yeah, I have messed up, I didn't even realize. As you can see, they are overlapping now, which is not good at all. Because that's not very efficient, but I can't go anymore. Oh, it's the kegs that's doing it. You know what, it's just gonna have to be done. I've already bought them now. Yes, it's not efficient. It's not smart. Of course, Sharky always messes up. But at least the water game watered. Come on, I don't want to keep doing that stuff. Same with these as well. Not the most efficient sprinklers or the system. But look, we've got this filled out. Pox hasn't. So we've got a lot of crops in there. Two ancient seeds. Yeah, I know this is not great. But it's fine. Right, let's get everything that we need to craft. Now we'll do, what I might do first, something I've not done, is just get a little bit of cobblestone path. Just to like kind of give us a nice little area that we can walk. Because you know it is getting a little bit a little bit messy. Now we've got a nice path. Six. Kegs we can make four. What we're we missing, we need coal. And we're already out of wood. You see that stack of wood is already gone, guys. It's crazy. Get some more gold on the go. Oh no, we aren't we are out of wood, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the hell? So I'll smelt some of this into coal. We've got four charcoal kilns. Maybe I should make another one of them, really. Two copper though. Try another soccer newspaper. Let's try my luck. Let's try the luck. I've got some light now. Let's get this on here. There we go. Let's keep going strong. Let's get these kegs down. Now we are running out of space, so I'm going to start getting them down here in the bottom. I'll get rid of that, and yeah, I'm going to start having them down the bottom here. I've right, got some pomegranates. The wine's done here. We've got two of them, so one, two. If we've only got one. Okay, you need two more things to go into them kegs. Also, two things to go in there. So let's do melons for the wine, strawberries for the jelly. There we go. I feel like we've been a bit more productive today. We've got a bit more time on our hands. We've been able to get oh, another damn torch. And three of them. Hey, at least everything's lit up. At least we can see a bit better. Let's get my axe and preserve jars. We can't get any more in the house. So, ooh, do we have some coal there? We've got three pieces. So I'm going to have to clear some space down here. Yeah, there we go. So I need to get even more things in there now. So let's just do all of this melon. Get some melon jelly. We've, melon jelly. We've not made that yet. Right, we're producing a lot. We are doing well, guys. Oh, this one's popped up as well. Don't mind if I do. Never eat the wine. God damn. I think we're doing okay, guys. We're looking good. We are looking promising now. Can we make any more... Tea saplings? Oh my god, yeah, we can. Cheeky 20, nice. See, buying all that wood's helped. It's now coming a long way. Let's make even more preserved jars then. We can make two more. But in a second, I'll be able to make one more. Oh, looks like Pox's wine's just done. Got some more gold bars. Still don't know what I'm going to do with this fully. I'm going to definitely keep some. I've got a feeling that the larvae eel might ask for them. 
I can actually smelt one more as well. With some iron. Okay, I think that is enough coal now to make one more preserve jar. That's three of them in total. There we go. We're looking good. I can't get rid of this big stump. We need to upgrade. Oh, we can. Oh, I can get rid of this. Nice. I thought we had to upgrade, it, upgrade your tool again. Oh, yeah. We have to do the pickaxe again. But at least we got rid of that stump, though. I love that. Right. The last coal, we got three. So that's enough to smell one gold, two iron. We're out of coal now. And guys, for the first time, I don't think I'm going to pass out. Just. Oh my god. We are so busy. Like I thought autumn might have been a little bit more calmer than summer. But already, there's no chance. Fall is very, very busy at the moment. We're doing so much. And we have got rain. So today, which is going to mix things up a bit in this episode, which I'm excited about actually, we're going to do a little bit of fishing. I love fishing in fall. So I'm excited. We've not done that yet in this episode. So it's going to change things a little bit. Let's just keep an eye on all the production, make sure everything's getting produced. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, we've got all of these kegs now. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. We've got 19 kegs in total, but a ton of preserved jars. Anything produced here? No. Come on, lava eel. Help us out a bit. We've got a cheeky little oak resin down here. I've got to go and gather that because it takes obviously nearly seven. It takes seven days to produce another one. It's so annoying. Let's check on the situation in the greenhouse. It's a strawberry day. Oh, it's an ancient fruit day as well. Pox, look at this. Pox, look. Look at this ancient fruit right here. Guys, look. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run around him. <laughs> oh no. We're insulting him. All oh, the apples are finally done. Let's go. I don't know why I'm rubbing it in that I've got an ancient fruit, guys, because I'm probably still going to lose. <laughs> it's not good. I shouldn't be like, showboating like this. I can just see his 100 day video now. It's like, oh. Hey Sharky, rubbing it in that he's got an ancient fruit. But he's still he's still lost. <laughs> or he'll pull something out of the bag like, little does he know. And then he's probably got something in major. He's probably got secret ancient fruit growing somewhere that I don't even know. Guys, let's have a fishing day. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. But, first of all, let's make our other keg. And I'm actually going to put the apple in there, I think. Should we make some apple wine? Mm, pomegranate's better though, right? Why did I not put the ancient fruit in there? <gasps> right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take that out. It should reset. Nice. I know that was a waste of a pomegranate, but ancient fruit wine is so much more valuable and we need to get that going now. I can't afford to wait. Listen, pomegranates grow every single day. Don't stress about it. I'm not, so you shouldn't. Maybe I'll keep some straws, eh? We've got plenty. Let's keep some silver strobes. Three should do it. Right, the farm is looking spectacular. Things are producing. Things are growing and brewing and preserving. <sighs> Feels good. Feels nice today. Now, this is my favorite time of year, favorite weather and favorite location to fish. Autumn, river, rain. Literally, I love it here. Amazing fish, great money, relaxing, loads of different variations of fish as well. You get such a big variety, you're not catching the same fish all the time. And if you're lucky, you can get some really good fish as well, good quality. So we started off with the worst one in this location. A damn smallmouth bass, 150 value. That's going to be the worst one that we can get. Oh, chest straight away, got to go for these though, right? Still another smallmouth this, pretty sure. Right, it's not it's not looking good. I'm literally expressing how much I love this location. And we've come away with two smallmouth. There we go, something a bit different. 
Now, they're not the easiest fish to catch some of these. Tiger trout, pike can be quite tricky, salmon. But also the catfish, that's what I like to see. And it's gold quality too, guys. 450, come on. All day, this is, I'm, I'm staying here all day, every time it rains. has got a stable he's gonna be going around much faster interesting spending his money and his resources on a stable I mean yes yeah, speed is key but what else does a horse really benefit There we go. Night time's a bit rubbish because you start getting bream. But in the daytime, morning and afternoon, even evening, a little bit, it's very, very nice to fish there. It's my spot, that one. That's my spot. I need to get some wine on the go there. So bream, shad, salmon, walleye, catfish, smallmouth bass, we do have two strawberries. I don't want to do that. Get some more melons on. Just going to make this in time, I think. Whew. Ooh. Oh. Oh. In total, the farmer's earned a million. That's interesting. Very interesting. And look at that. We've made 18k. Six just from the fishing. Really good. That's money that we need, and we still haven't sold all of our jelly and wine that we, that we are producing at the moment. But guys, that is going to be it for that episode. Another five days, one mil on the farm. But who's earned what? Is it 50-50? Or is it like 60-40? We don't know. But thank you all so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it, and stick around for the next episode, where we keep playing through fall, and trying our best to earn as much money as possible. Subscribe if you haven't, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.